Hey everyone, it's Josh from WA Production, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a basic stutter house beat in FL Studio. In this video, I'll be primarily using some of the newest features of the FL Studio 2024 beta, FL Cloud, and WA Production plugins, with a few others mixed in, but you should be able to do similar things with whatever tools you have at your disposal. First, I'm going to add this drum loop from FL Cloud that is taken from WA Production's Bass House Battalion pack and use it as the foundation of our beat. Now, I've loaded up the new Kepler XO plugin featured in FL Studio 2024 and found a decent sounding pluck to use for some chords. Next, I'll put together a simple chord progression in A minor. To get the chords to duck behind the kick and give it some pumping motion, I'm adding WA Productions Dodge Pro plugin, which gives you precise control over the shape of the ducking action. To beef up these chords, I'm going to duplicate the root notes and pitch them down one and two octaves to add a bass layer. Plus, so that the chords flow a bit better and don't jump around as much, I'm inverting the chords with the lowest root notes and pitching them up an octave. Now, I'm just going to tweak our chord sound a little bit. Presets are a great place to start, but often require some tweaking to get them sounding how you want them in your mix. Next, it's time for some sub bass. I found a basic sub preset in Kepler XO and I'm adding that in. Now, I'm basing a simple bass pattern on the root notes of my chords. However, you'll see I'm adding a bit of syncopated rhythm to make it more interesting. A lot of beginners keep their bass lines too simple and it makes their tracks really boring. Making all your instrument patterns too complicated can be a bad thing, so simple is sometimes fine, but since our chords are already following a very basic rhythm, I wanted to make the bass line a little more interesting to contrast that. Now, the part that turns this into stutter house. I'm going to search FL Cloud for a vocal that I think can work. Ideally, I'll find something in the key we're working in and close to the same tempo. Also, when I'm looking for stutter house vocals, I'm generally looking for long sustained notes rather than something that already has a strong rhythmic component. But you can test for yourself and find what works best for you. This one might work. Let's give it a try. First, I'll see if it seems to sound good just dropped on top of our existing instrumental. With some adjustments, it works okay. Now, to give it the traditional stutter effect. This is where you can get really creative, and there are many ways to do this. You can use a built-in effect like Grow Speed for this, and I also know many people who prefer to manually draw in their patterns via volume automation, which definitely gives you the most control. There are no wrong answers, but this time, I'm going to use one of my favorite tools for this, which is Sound Toys Tremolator. I like the additional controls it gives you for the shape and groove of the rhythm. Now that we have our basic elements, I'm feeling like our tempo is too fast, so I'm slowing it down to create a more chill vibe. I'm going to keep it pretty simple in this video, but it's also common in popular stutter house to automate between different rhythms, rates, and shapes to create a more interesting pattern. Play around with these settings and have fun with it.
Now I'll dial in our sound to get it sounding more like a lead. So, it's sounding okay, but I'm not convinced this vocal is the best option for this track. Let's see if we can find another. This one might work. This time, I'm going to use a different method and use the sampler so that we can play the sample at different pitches in the piano roll. I'll come up with a melody and turn it to mono with increased slides so that the pitch slides from one note to another. Now I'll just dial in our tremolator settings a bit. Having a little shuffle or swing can help give it a more human feel. Our mix is sounding a little thin since the pluck chords are not very strong. I think adding a layer of piano using FL keys will help. Next, to thicken up the sound of our lead, I duplicated the melody and pitched it an octave down. Now I'm going to affect them together, EQing and adding some saturation via WA Productions Satyrus plugin. Now I'll just make a few small adjustments to our lead melody. as well as to our sub bass melody to make them a bit more interesting. I think maybe the saturation coming before the multiband compression could sound a bit better in this case. Feel free to tweak and adjust throughout.
FL Keys is great, but a little basic sounding. I'm going to use WA Productions Orchid plugin to add some width and modulation to the piano. Time for a little simple mix tweaking, starting by carving a bit with our EQ. I'm noticing the lead is getting masked by the chords. To help with that, I'm using one of my favorite mixing plugins, Track Spacer, to carve out space for the lead by side chaining the chords to it. Okay, I think for the purposes of this video, we're good to go. Let's try out FL Cloud's AI-powered mastering and see how it does. We'll try with the automatic option, as well as the Tech House specific option. Sounding pretty good although it could be a little warmer, brighter, wider, and more powerful. Let's try turning on these new options in FL Studio 2024 to see if they help. That sounds a bit better to me. Thanks for watching this video today. I hope you found it helpful. This is just scratching the surface of Stutter House production, but hopefully it will give you a strong foundation to start from and you can innovate from there. Best of luck.